her own memory bank, so all of her reasons why someone like that is is so special and why I'm so lucky to have him as my brother. Um, so I may be biased, but Alex, I've been thinking about it for the last few weeks, and I think you've been thinking the world's best thing together. Um, you were the eldest of the three of us. You blazed a wide and hot trail for the two other siblings to follow. Um, and you were the perfect person to do it because, as others have mentioned, you approach the world with such opportunity in your eyes and such a like, sense of adventure. And Tom and I, no offense Tom, but we're not quite built in that same way. Not that he and I are the same person, but um, I was thinking about who, like, who Alex is as an individual and talking to my grandmother recently. He's um, a really pretty reserved, diplomatic person. And I said, Grand, you know, I have to say, I think Alex is probably the most interesting of the three of us. And I've never heard a faster, that's for sure, out of her. Without a doubt, Alex is the most interesting of the Harrison children. Um, he's always been outgoing, incredibly confident, and has allowed me to follow in his footsteps in a way that has made my life so much more interesting as well. Beyond being undeniably the most interesting, Alex has also been rich in creativity and has an entrepreneurial spirit that can be applied in all kinds of directions. So for uh, everyone's medical, just give me a quick review of Alex's CV over the years to know, you know how he's applied himself, what kind of gigs he's had. Um, one of my earliest memories of him was telling me a story of the kind of restaurant he was going to own when he was older. So he would have been about six and I was four or something. But the restaurant was going to be in New York City. And it was going to have an entryway that was so long you couldn't even see to the end of it and you would have to ride a motorcycle down the front of the entry to the restaurant to even approach it. Which was like the most incredible, preposterous thing I had ever heard that I would never have thought of. And that's just generally how Alex approaches things. It's just what is the most amazing way to do something. It seems impossible, but I'm sure I can find a way. So many of you in the room will probably uh, identify with some of these roles. So the first one on the list is a shout out to Joe Squire, who must be here somewhere. That's right, so Doc Boy at Thetis Island Marina. That was an important gig. Uh, also in the salty seas of the Gulf Islands, Alex was a Polaroid photographer and would row out and take pictures of people on their boats, see if they would toss them five or 10 bucks for a custom photography job. Yeah, he was a soccer referee, which takes incredible diplomacy, judgment, and confidence in your decisions. He was a pizza delivery driver and also got me into that same trade, and I think it's still been my favorite job I've ever had anyway, so thank you Alex for that. He worked in the oil sands, he worked in the busy kitchens of Montreal, working entirely in French. He worked in construction, he did after school care and helped vulnerable kids at the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, Chris has already touched on the fact that he's an incredible uncle, he's one of those people who kids are just drawn to. Um, the qualities that Alex has like, shown through the work that he's done are endless. Um, but I'm going to turn it over to Tom to tell one of our favorite stories uh, about a particularly great pursuit of Alex. Alex. Alex, Alex, Alex. <laughs> I think everyone already knows, even if you just met him today, this is a man with some tales to tell. And what a guy. <laughs> I'll start out with one of my favorite Alex stories, which is actually a story that Alex told eight years ago when Caitlin was being made. And Alex and I were up in front of an audience just like this one. And I had no clue where he was going. But very quickly, it was obvious that he was getting ready to reveal one of the most closely guarded Harrison family secrets <laughs> to this crowd of hundreds. And so this story starts in September, just like this one, but back in 1982. And what he intimated to the audience was that Caitlin was not actually born into this family. <laughs> she had been dropped off in a cardboard box in the <laughs> of his house that was lined with greasy fish and chip wrappers, <laughs> filled with broken glass, and had been deposited by house angels. <laughs> and then Alex's speech just went off from there, and it's even more ridiculous and outrageous 
with every sentence. And I, I don't think I've ever laughed harder at a speech before. And yeah, the best part about it was I just had no clue what he was going to do next. And I think that's a really good representation of what it's like to hang out with him. <laughs> Because Alex is an adventurer, and as his little brother, I've been lucky enough to tag along on a few of these, because for those of you that know me, and as Caitlin has described a little bit, I'm not the type to find my own adventures very easily, and sometimes I needed my brother's help. And so this is a story like that, that uh, this one's in maybe 97, so I was probably 11 years old, Alex is 16, 17, and it was a beautiful Saturday, which meant that I was sitting on the couch thumbing through the World Book Encyclopedia as I did not do that three times. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so thank God for me on that Saturday, Alex comes flying through the back door like he does for all of us. And on this particular Saturday, he was wet, he was slimy, and what he showed about me when he came through the door was, Thomas, get up or sell him kelp. <laughs> One more, one more thing to miss. Kelp salesman. Alex had been down at Clover Point, and I, I guess a storm had washed this big mass of seaweed up on the beach. And Alex being Alex, immediately, he just sees this resource, and the wheels are turning in his head about how he can turn a profit on this. And so I guess he kind of scraped and scooped some up into his arms and started walking home, just knocking on people's doors. And <laughs> Very quickly was able to sell this kelp to someone to put on their garden. So he was emboldened with this success. He's fired up. He's ready to, to scale this venture up and bring in a junior partner. And, <laughs> and so he, he brings me in tow. And of course, I hop off the couch. I've got nothing else going on. And chase after him. And the only shoes I could find at the back door were his, which were too big for me. But I slap after him into the backyard. And uh, and then we're quickly into our dad's to herself, firing up to the, the Fairfield Plaza. And Alex invests in a couple of heavy-duty garbage cans. And so now we're in business. We go back down to the beach, fill those bad boys up. We've got tons of kelp. We're ready to make serious money. But for whatever reason, I still don't know what went wrong. Maybe I was just not as charming or bad luck or something. The, uh, the first lady we talked to, we knock on her door and she asked us where the kelp came from. Then we said, Clover, right? That's the truth. The truth is also that that was the sewage of fall. The raw sewage of fall at that time. Not, not anymore, not anymore. Not and so, yeah, her nose crinkles up. She doesn't want to kelp. And then we strike out again, three times, four times, and now it's starting to rain. And I don't have Alex's courage and conviction here. I don't have his ambition. I'm starting to turn into a whiny big bro little brother. And to Alex's credit, he immediately pivots and he says, Don't worry, we're making nachos. <laughs> <laughs> and so we scraped most, most of the seaweed out of these bins and brought them back to the hardware store. And Alex reinvests our profits into some cheese and chips. And we ended up having a pretty nice afternoon. <laughs> Thank you for being my big brother. Thank you for letting me come along with you on some of these adventures. And to Geraldine, we're so happy to formally welcome you into the Harrison family tonight and for you to go on many happy adventures together with Alex in the future. So cheers to you two. Congratulations. Love you both.